Hey, Hebrew fans, this is Todd. So you're probably wondering, what the heck is Todd doing with his elevator shaft missing in his Eternia? So here's what it is. Some guy online posted that he's missing the piece that goes right here that holds the elevator shaft in, in place. And he's contacted Mattel, and they have done nothing to help him at all. They said, hey, if you want, you can return your Eternia, and if we can find another one, we'll send it out. If not, we'll refund you. I thought, what the heck? That is so messed up. Now, I forgot who posted this. I can't find the post. If you're the guy who's missing this piece here, or you know the guy who's missing this piece, let him know that I have taken the time to uh, scan this piece in. Here it is right here. I've scanned it in on all sides. And right now, I am actually 3D printing this for you, man. All you have to do is contact me and uh, I'll just have you pay shipping and handling to get it sent to you. Let's go into the 3D printer room and take a look. And there it is. It is printing the piece right now for that elevator shaft. We'll see how it comes out when it's done. I should have it done before I post this video. Actually, I'll make it part of this video so you guys can see how cool it is. I'll compare the parts side by side. But there it goes, printing it. And that will be cool. So again, if you're the guy that is missing the piece that goes up here on this floor on this shaft let me know so to get it out it was kind of a pain i first had to take out the screws or they are right there that holds this piece on because i couldn't get the elevator shaft out then i had to very carefully pry off from those parts that snap on right there and it was like man that was such a pain to do i was afraid i was going to break it at first but luckily i got it off and then, of course, once I got it off, I went to work scanning it, and it was about the sixth time I scanned it. It finally took and worked, but man, I tell you, for a while there, it was kind of a hit and miss. And then I decided to scan each side separately as four different scans, and then did a merge on them, and then it finally worked, and it looked beautiful. So I used this scanning spray right here, and there's different kinds. I used the orange, and each one actually uh, um, kind of dissolves on its own after a while. It sprays on, it looks like foot powder. And this one right here is the orange one. And basically, it, after a while, it will just come off on its own. And you can see right here is where I sprayed it all over our bathroom counter. So there it is before I sprayed it. You can see the square of where it was sitting. And then I use this turntable here and just basically scanned it from Four different angles, turning it, changing it, rescanning it as it spun all the way around, and just catching all the different aspect of the object. Let me show you how it looks. So here is the first scan right here, and you can see it. Ooh, ah. This is how it looks before it's fused. Then here it is fused. You can see what a mess it is, because obviously this is the one that was standing up like this, so there's no bottom um, features to it. Or to, Actually, you know what? I think it was standing this way, because there's no bottom features that way. There we go. And then here it is meshed. Oof, what a mess. So then, here is my second scan. And this one was uh, probably laying down. And again, you can see there was no data for this hole here, for the bottom here. For this here and so it only can record what it could see and then I scanned it in here like this this one you could see was from the top so it only got so much there got a little more data on these points here no data there no inside data and then this was my final scan and you could see how it looks and you can see again no data on the bottom I have the tops of these and big old hole there and then i meshed and merged it all together and this was my merged final one you can see it looks pretty good then i went ahead and i uh put it on my slicer program so here it is getting ready to be sliced sliced and diced and you can see all these blue pieces are all support pieces that i'll have to pull off so i got some supports right here to hold up the the spots, some supports here to hold the holes. And then you can see 
It's 91 slices, and as you go down, you can see how it's all sliced. Each one of these is another layer of plastic. So it's the first layer it will lay down a plastic, then this is the second layer it will lay down, and then it goes up three, four, five, all the way up until it builds the whole entire thing. And there it is, complete. So it is done printing. There it is. Ooh, ah, it took uh, 44 minutes. I'm not actually, this light off for it to print. But it's really kind of strange how it looks different depending on where it's at. And you can see there, there is the piece. All right, so here is the original part here. And here is the 3D printed part. And the original part, the way it fits is you just take and you slide this right into those pins, just like that. Oh, it's kind of a tight fit. And then let's try the 3D printed part. And it fits in the exact same way. I'm not going to push it in too tight though, because now to get this to fit, you may want to heat this up with a hairdryer or a heat gun and then shove it on and it should make those holes get a little larger for you. Then of course you just add the screws and it will snap right into there. I'm not going to snap it all the way in because I'm afraid that it will get stuck. But it would just go right like that. And you can see it will fit right on there. A little bit of shove, push, maybe heat it up first before you put it on. And that should fix your problem. All right, again, if you guys know who it is, the person who uh, on Facebook said they're missing this, tell them to reach out to Hebro. I have your part right here for your replacement. And uh, all you have to do is pay shipping, and it is yours, the guy on Facebook. So I already wrote you on the post, but I lost where it's at, so that's why I haven't written back to you. All right. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, and a good journey. If you found enjoyment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Do it!